Hi, welcome to another video on BandLabs. In this video I want to look at being able to slice and trim an audio file. So let's hop over to the mixer and have a go at working this out. So over here we've got the main uh, mixer that you get when you start a new um, file or song in BandLabs. The one we're going to be focusing on today is the voice mic one. Um, but what we're doing here would apply to the guitar and bass audio files as well. So let's click voice and mic. And when you click this, you'll get your track built. Um, down here under source, make sure you've got either your um, laptop or computer microphone selected. I have to happen to have my interface selected. I've got channel one. Um, with Band Labs, you've only got two channels that you can pick from. Um, so channel one or channel two, even if you've got more channels on your interface, they're the only ones you'll see. So we've got channel one selected. Um, you can put monitoring on. I'd advise you to wear headphones if you do use that. That will enable you to hear um, a live um, vocal or audio file that you're recording. Um, some other things to point out. Up the top we've got our play, rewind, record buttons. Um, over here this is probably one of the more important ones that you might want to use. We've got a metronome. Um, whether I'm recording to a click track or a backing track, you might want to use your metronome. Or at least have a bar count in so that by the time you click record, you can get yourself ready to actually um, play along with what you're trying to do. Okay, so I've got my one bar count in, I've got my volume set. So let's have a go at this. Um, I'm going to record. Um, I found one of my kids' books. So here we go, Mr. Cool. Um, I'm just going to read the first page of this so we can get some audio in there. Um, let's give it a go. So all you've got to do is hit record to physically get your track to start recording. Let's take it back to the beginning. And let's go. Mr. Cool by Roger Hardgraves. Poor Andy Robinson wasn't feeling well. He'd been in bed for days and he had to stay in bed until he was better. I'm bored, he huffed. I wish I could go outside and play with my friends. There we go. We've got an audio file. Let's just check that. Mr. Cool by Roger Hardgraves. Poor Andy Robinson wasn't feeling well. He'd been in bed for days, and he had to stay in bed until he was better. I'm bored, he huffed. I wish I could go outside and play with my friends. Okay, we've got an audio file there. Now, I may have stuffed up some of the words. I may have um, breathed funny, and I might need to just trim things up and re-record different sections of my audio track. So let's look at that. Now, if we, we've got that selected, if you double-click it, or if you click the editor, you'll bring up this. So this is a close-up of that WAV file. And you can see I had a little bit of a gap at the beginning and I've got a bit of a gap here too. So I want to split this between the two. So trying to select the spot, see how I've just got the end of my word. I might want to just go a little bit further over and then this might be a good spot to trim it. So we've got this tool over here, the slice at playhead. So the playhead is this line here. So I'd be slicing wherever this happens to be sitting. So be careful, don't click the slice button willy-nilly. Make sure you're taking notice of where you've got it. So I've got my track selected. I can now click slice. And now I can separate this. Okay. So that's that one. So I can separate it. I can move it onto a new track. I can copy it. And then paste it as I see fit if I need to redo these different sorts of things. So I was using um, Control C or Command C and Control V or Command v, um, v if you've got a Mac or Windows machine. Now the next thing, it might be that I need to trim it up. So I've been able to cut it. I can make as many cuts as I want. Um, but we can also, if I drag it down here, this little line, see how it changes. I can actually bring that right up to where I need it to be. And then I can shift it. Okay. So now I've literally taken out that massive gap where I was, had a big gap there. Now if I go to the end, I can also do the same thing. I could trim this right up. 
I may have had heavy breathing or something like that. And I just want to take that out of the recording and trim things up so it's nice and neat. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some helpful tips in being able to um, slice or trim up your audio. You could then add other tracks, other loop files to that or play other instruments along with that to build your music or track that you're needing to do. Um, if you have any other suggestions or if you like this video, um, definitely um, like it, subscribe it, do the usual things. Please comment below if there's any other features you think I should do a video on. And thank you for your time. Catch ya.